Want to build a modern web application with secure user authentication? In this video, you'll learn how to integrate Superbase Auth with Next.js and create a simple UI using Shad CN UI. We'll be moving fast, so feel free to pause at any point. Code snippets and resources will be linked in the description below. Let's dive in. First, let's create our Next.js project with Shad CN UI. To get started, open your terminal and run the following command. Replace my app with the name of your choice. This command creates a new Next.js project. Once the project is created, navigate to the project directory in your terminal. Then run npx shad cnui at latest init. For now, we can leave everything at the default configuration. To set up Superbase with Google Auth, first create a Superbase account and project. In your Superbase project dashboard, go to Authentication and under Providers, enable Google Sign-in. Make note of the generated callback URL. Next, go to the Google Cloud Console and create a new project. Once created, use the search bar to find and select OAuth content screen. Choose External and fill in the app name, support email, and the developer contact email. You can leave the rest blank. Now, navigate to the credentials page. Click on create credentials and select OAuth client ID. Set the application type to web application. Choose a name and paste the callback URL from Superbase into the authorized redirect URLs field. Click create to generate your client ID and secret. Copy the client ID and secret and paste them into the Google Auth fields on Superbase. We'll skip the now check for now. Optionally, you can create a profiles table on Superbase to store user info. In the Superbase SQL editor, run the following statement. This will create the profiles table, enable role level security, and automatically create a role for each new user. Let's add Superbase to our next JS project. We'll follow the Superbase server-side auth documentation for Next.js up to about step 4, then deviate slightly. First, install Superbase using this command. Create a .env.local file in the root directory and add your Superbase URL and Anon key, which can be found on your Superbase project settings under API. Next, create a utils folder in the root directory and inside it, create a Superbase folder. Within the Superbase folder, create two files, client.ts and server.ts. Add the following code snippets to each file respectively. Note that calling these create client functions is lightweight, so it's okay to call them whenever you need access to Superbase in your code. Still, inside of the Superbase folder, create a middleware.ts file and add the update session function. Then, create another middleware.ts file in the root of your project and add the following code. These middleware files are necessary for refreshing auth tokens on the server components and in the browser. Under the lib folder, create a auth-actions.ts file and add the following functions. To handle unexpected error during auth process, create a page.tsx file under app slash error directory. Finally, to handle user email confirmation on signups, create a route.ts file under the app slash auth slash confirm directory and add this get function. Navigate to your auth templates page on your Superbase dashboard and replace the confirm URL with this string. That's it for setting up Superbase in our project. Next, we'll focus on the UI. For our UI setup, we'll be using Shad CN UI blocks, which provides a quick and free way to get up and running with an auth UI. First, create a login form.tsx file under the app auth login components directory. Go to the Shad CN blocks website, find the authentication o2 block, and copy the code into the login form.tsx. Modify the code as follows. Add the name property to the email and password input tags, assigning email and password respectively. Wrap everything under card content with a form tag. Add a form property to the login button and assign it the sign-in function from the auth actions TS file. Update the sign-in link to point to the sign-up page. If you're missing some ShadCN UI components, navigate to the ShadCN website, search for the missing components, button, cards, input, and label, and run the provided npm commands in your project's terminal to add them to the components slash UI folder. To prevent the login with Google button from triggering the form, assign the type property 
to button. Move this button to its own component as it needs to be a client component to assign the on-click callback to the sign-in with Google function. Remember to add use client at the top of this file and then assign the sign in with Google function to the on-click callback. Then return the login form component in the login page. For the sign up page, create a page.tsx file under the app auth sign up directory. Copy the authentication 03 block from ShadCN and paste it into a new sign up form.tsx file under the app auth sign up components folder. Rename the function to sign up form and then modify the following code. Wrap everything inside the card content with a form tag. Remove the sign up with GitHub button. We don't need that one. Add the form action to the create an account button and assign it the sign up function from auth actions TS file. Assign the corresponding name properties to the first name, last name, email, and password inputs. Update the sign in link to point to the login page. Then add the sign up form component to the sign up page. For the logout page, create a page.tsx file under the app auth logout directory and add the following code. After the user lands on this page, they will be redirected back to the home page after two seconds. To add the login and logout buttons to the home page, create a login logout button.tsx file under the roots components folder with the following code. Replace the Vercel logo on the home page with a login logout button component. Finally, create a user greet text component to replace the top left text and show the username when logged in. Note, to access the user's full name, use user.usermetadata.fullName. Replace the getting started by editing text on the home page with the user greet text component. That covers the setup of the auth UI using chassis and blocks and integrating it with the pages and components we created earlier. Awesome, now when we run our application using npm run dev command and navigate to the localhost 3000, we should see our homepage. Clicking the login button brings us to the login page and clicking the sign up link takes us to the sign up page. If we sign up, we receive an email verification link. Clicking on the link redirects us back to the homepage. You can see that our personalized text and sign out buttons are working correctly. If we click on logout button, we will be redirected to the logout page and then back to the homepage. Now, if we try logging in with Google, we go through the Google sign in process and get the intended authentication result. It's important to note that we didn't need to sign up separately with Google. Superbase automatically links any account with the same email address to the same identity, which is a great feature. Before we wrap up, I want to mention an important point about the Superbase SSR package. There seems to be a bit of confusion regarding when to use client or server functions. It's crucial to remember that client functions only work with client components while server functions only work with server components. If you are signed in on one side, client or server, the other will also reflect that state. However, there's a caveat. If you are using the on auth state change listener on the client side to listen to auth event changes, it will only trigger when you sign in using client functions. This is something I ran into while working on this project. Congratulations, you now have Superbase authentication working seamlessly with your Next.js project along with a sleek and modern UI using ShadCN UI components. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.